All right, GQ, hit it. All right, GQ hitting it. Hey, everybody, I'm glad you're back for part two of the W5 head from Mopar Performance. This is a small black aluminum head, and if you saw part one, you got to see what it flowed like as cast with the stock tree stump size 3 8 stem valves, 202 and 16. Now, I have a ported head. I'd like to thank Brett Miller for doing this. He did a fantastic job, and unfortunately, as life gets in the way, I've never got a chance to run them. But it also helps us today because now we get a before and after. The dead stock cylinder head with the stock valve size that you get from Opar to what uh, Brett Miller did. And Brett, thanks a lot again. Um, Brett got me these uh, titanium valves. These things are so light they almost float away. It's awesome. It's a 205.16. And here in this head, you could see that uh, you know he brushed up on the chamber a little bit, very mild, and. The exhaust port lightly worked, and as I turn the head around, we can get to the intake port where you can see, by comparison, how he opened them up nice. Now that one port with epoxy is where this head gave up the ghost. And it's unfortunate that these heads have a bad reputation of doing this from time to time, but Brett put epoxy in there, and I know that's going to work absolutely awesome. Yeah, he did a good job with the epoxy, you can tell. Let's go up to the valve spring pockets where this is like a mandatory modification you have to do to let the oil out. Otherwise, your valve spring is just pretty much bathing in oil, like, you know, taking a bath. And we don't want that. So you make this little modification, everybody drains out very nice. Charlie, take it away. It's just a little relief. Let's take a look at the completely stock chamber versus modified chamber. You can see what he did on that. Yeah, just a little touch. But it makes all the difference in the world. I mean, you can see the bolt boss. I mean, the bolt boss. The... Uh, the guy boss, he did a tremendous amount of work. And uh, I really like what he did. It looks just like I would do it. And uh, if you notice, he's got that vein with the uh, the angle of that liquid flow. I think he did a great job. Uh, yeah, these are identical castings to the ones we just flowed. I don't know if if Brett changed the uh, the valve job, or this is, this is the Mopar valve job. Um, I'm sure Brett touched them up. I remember him telling me that he, he didn't like the valve job. He, he was going to do something different. And you could really see it. I mean, you know, just swing back and forth. Here's, here's, a huge here's, here's difference. the stock valve job. Yeah. After all, you know, the Mopar oh, yeah. comes, you know, set up that you could just install the Mopar performance valves and go. Yeah, that, it's definitely These different. are titanium valves. I can see it on the camera. It's different. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, titanium valves of different, you know, cut and everything required. And, uh, and the back cut on, on yeah. the titanium valve. Yeah, huge. Yeah, the, the, the valves are really sweet. They have a nice, deep margin. This valve is actually tuliped, okay, with a nice, deep margin. Nice valves. Super light. Let's take a look down its throat and see what we got. Okay, Brett did a really nice job on these, nice and straight. He took almost all of that boss out for the head bolt. You can see our liquid flow comes right down and around. Uh, Brett does a, a texture very similar to what I use. It looks great as far as I'm concerned. It's really not much different than the way I would have done it. The only thing I said to Rob was maybe, as soon as I looked at the short side radius, maybe that needs to be a bit wider. But that was a guess, and uh, when we look at the air speeds, we'll, we'll decide if, that, if I was right or not. Okay, you can see how he did the short side radius. Looks really good. He just leaves it. He leaves it a burr finish. I, I polish my short side radius, but he did a nice job on these. Okay, the exhaust done very, very similar to the way I would have done it. And when I first looked at what he, what he did, I said, wow, he took a lot of metal out of that shared wall. But then when we look at the air speeds, you'll know why he took a lot of area out of that spot. Really, uh, really looks good. And uh, works really well. This exhaust port really, really does a good job. Okay, Brett Miller, W5s, 2055 with a back cut, 1.6 with no back cut, but it's a tulip. Take a look, he did a good job here, right? He's got a, a nice, he's got a nice upswing on the 300. Why don't we grab the other sheet? That way we can compare them. Uh, Alright guys, did my plus and minus thing so you guys get a better, uh, a better idea of what we got going on. Like I said, Brett did a good job. I knew that as soon as I looked at him. He's only got one minus right here, which doesn't mean anything to me. 
plus 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 300 he goes from 174.2 to almost 200 which is what we want to see and then as soon as we get into the area where this is actually going to run around 600 plus 625 I, this one maxed out at 580 this one maxed out right around 625 it was it was just about 301 it's been it actually stayed at 301 to 7 so right in this area where uh, Robbie's going to run it it's going to it's going to work really really well very interesting on the swirl though i mean take a look at the swirl curve here i like the swirl curve completely different here in fact we actually have a reversal at 350 I'm not thrilled with that, but I don't know if that would hurt it at all. Because at 500, it, it starts skipping off the short side radius, and it bangs it with uh, a lot of swirl. And by the time we're right in this area, we got more than we need. So relatively lazy with the swirl and then hitting it, that works for me. I like that setup. Okay, intake air speeds. That's what they were. This is what they are, okay? He got more through the pinch because he's flowing a lot more air. So you would expect your airspeed to go up. He got a lot more on the center of the cylinder than what it was. And it actually went down a little bit. These are much more even, right? That's what we want to see, even. And as far as the short side, he got a minus plus plus. So he's getting a lot more air across the short side than it was before. All right, let's do the exhaust. He did a great job on the exhaust. All pluses everywhere. And huge differences everywhere. Let's take a look at 200. All right, 104, 110. Big jump. 400, 163, 161.3. Where was I? 400. 400. Toast, guys, sorry. 187.6. Huge jump. And it just goes even further, right? 600, 178.7, 232. Put a pipe on it, 253. Take a look at these numbers. This, this is absolutely flowing like mad. And we'll take a look at our, our air speeds, right? These were our air speeds before. I liked it stock. It's, it's for a stock port right there. Those numbers are great. These are even better. Look at how many 300 plus he's got. Plus, 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 plus. You know, he did... He's got this port really working. Yeah, he lost a little bit in this corner. He lost a little bit here. But other than that, that port is really working. And you can tell by the flow numbers, you know. Take a look. Awesome. In fact, calculate the exhaust, the exhaust to intake ratio. I'm not big on exhaust intake ratio stuff, but looks really good. I forgot to mention the liquid flow on the valve. It looks pretty good. And we're going to show you the bore. Okay, the bore looks pretty good. I think I did that at uh, 625 left. Oh, uh -oh I'm on now. Okay. <laughs> uh, now I can't remember what I was going to say. Great, terrific. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, on the floor bench, uh, the only gasket we had available to quickly use was a 318 gasket. So it's an OE. 318 head gasket from 69. It's 3.91 and it's actually a little odd shape. It's not even a perfect circle. The mobile guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? You got me. I don't know. I, 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 I <laughs> guess we're going to have to pause and think about it. We this. can pause and think. I got so. <laughs> Go ahead, start over. <laughs> Are we rolling? We're rolling. I can't remember what it was I wanted to tell you guys. I'm sorry about the camera bouncing, but I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stay tuned for part three and four. You'll find out more later. Have a good day. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.